Hello, my friends. Today for story time, we're going to be reading The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. All right. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh no. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he had left a trail of burnt forests and a horse's bones. <gasps> look at that big old path. She does not look happy. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door and a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. Knock, knock, knock. <gasps> the dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, <gasps> well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am very, a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Look at that dragon. He's not very nice. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge, deep breath, <gasps> and he breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 50 forests. Oh, look at all that fire. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath <gasps> and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. <gasps> Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath, but this time, nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. His fire's all gone. He used it all up. Elizabeth. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. That's so fast. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. She's watching him fly so fast. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he went and lay down and went straight to sleep. Oh, he needed a nap. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened up the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes and your hair is all tangled and you are wearing a dirty paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Oh, Ronald was angry. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. The end. 
Thank you for joining me for that story time, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our princess and dragon and prince story, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.